I'm still tweaking things a little bit, but this will give you the general idea of the website. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Uh, pretty much any way I say that is gonna hurt his feelings. <laughs> okay, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Not you, I wasn't asking you. <laughs> Penny? Uh, well, it's a little juvenile. I mean, kind of looks like the MySpace page of a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> It doesn't? Oh, please. Dateline could use it to attract predators. <laughs> Penny, this is your enterprise, so it's ultimately your decision. But based on the quality of his work, I'd strongly recommend that we let Leonard go. <laughs> you want to fire me? What I want is irrelevant. This is Penny's decision. <laughs> Penny? Excuse me, but if I did such a bad job, then why do we already have orders? We do? Uh-huh. Look. Mrs. Fiona Fondell from Huntsville, Alabama has ordered two. No kidding, two? Uh-huh. Look at the comments. Thank you, Penny Blossoms. These will be perfect to cover my bald spots. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sweet. Camouflaging bald spots. That's primarily a male concern. Perhaps we could expand our market. <laughs> How are flower barrettes going to appeal to men? We add Bluetooth. <gasps> Brilliant. Men love Bluetooth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You want to make a hair barrette with Bluetooth? You, Penny, everything is better with Bluetooth. <laughs> Holy crap, someone just ordered a thousand penny blossoms. Get out! <laughs> sparkly flower barrettes with rhinestones. The fifth annual East Rutherford, New Jersey Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender Alliance Luau. <laughs> oh, another market to expand into, balding gay men. And I'll bet lesbians love Bluetooth. <laughs> we should get to work. <laughs> <laughs>